Olympics is in LA. Will we see you play flag football in 2028? <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll be out there. We're uh, we're to work on some things, see if we can make it in there, but we'd love to be out there. And will we see you play NFL again? Uh, we're still training, still pushing. So hopefully we uh, we just gotta get one of these team owners. 250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Porter, and I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. If you'd like to support the channel, greatly appreciate it. Cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Sports lovers, got something special for y'all. I got something special. Colin Kaepernick talking about he wants to represent the United States in the 2028 Olympics. He wants to represent the United States in the USA Olympics. And we all know this is absolutely absurd seeing as how, how much he hates the country. Oh, yeah, that nigga hate him some United States. That nigga hate the States. He hates the U.S. He hates America. Oh, this man <laughs> despises the United States of America but wants to represent it in the 2028 Olympics. I have a video I want to play for y'all, and I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go. But what was it like watching them all together? Oh, it's, you know, it's a rare opportunity when... You get to see competitors who compete against each other their whole careers get to team up and actually play together. So to be able to see the dynamic of, you know, LeBron, Steph, KD, Joel, um, Tatum, D-Book, like, they got the full squad out there that they're all all-stars. And, I mean, for me, I think about how you even put a team together, like, all right, these are the five that are going out at any given moment is, I mean... I don't want to be the one making that decision because everybody's so talented. So um, it's phenomenal for the sport. It's phenomenal for viewers um, and excited to see how they finish things out. It seems like the Olympic spirit has got to you as well. Obviously, the next Olympics is in L.A. Will we see you play flag football in 2028? <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll be out there. We're, uh, we're going to work on some things, see if we can make it in there, but we'd love to be out there. And will we see you play NFL again? Uh, we're still training, still pushing. So hopefully we, uh, we just got to get one of these team owners to open up. What would it mean to you to play NFL again? Um, I mean, it's something I've trained my whole life for. So to be able to step back on the field, I think that would be a, a major moment, major accomplishment for me. Um, also, I think it's something that uh, I could bring a lot to a team and help them win a championship. And what are you doing at the moment? Tell us a bit about your new company as well. Yeah, so just started a new company. It's called Lumi Story AI. Um, you know, we are focused on using Gen AI to help creators create better. So create their stories independently, um, help them publish them, help them merchandise them. Do Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250 Gemstones news TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. I ain't going to go too hard on Colin Kaepernick because I did his background star. I should do a, uh, maybe I do a live on Kaepernick. Uh, I think, to be honest, at the end of the day, I'm going to get on his ass, but humanly speaking, I think he's just trying to find his way. He converted to uh, Islam. His woman messed up his career. He followed a woman. He followed a false god, a false religion, which is Islam. That was his first mistake. And then... He followed his woman. That was his second mistake. And he followed this thing called blackness. You never want to follow no black person. Trust me. <laughs> Nothing but pain, misery, and destruction. I know. I live around them. Uh, but honestly, I think he's just trying to find his way as a man. I think he's just trying to find his way as a human being. And uh, 
he seems like a he seems like an okay guy. I mean, it's, it's just uh, I think he wants to be a revolution. I think we all have a little hero that in us. That's how God made us a little hero inside of us, and maybe it just doesn't come out the way we wanted to. I believe that he had a good cause. I think he wanted to really bring awareness to the issues that are going on pertaining to police brutality. I mean, Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles could see that police are killing black folk like there's no tomorrow. And then you got these uh, conservatives, black and white conservatives, saying that it's not every single killing is just, whether it's just uh, by the law, maybe because the law supported in this particular uh, situation, the law says in this type of protocol, blah 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 but most of our laws ha are not aligned with god the only thing that makes the law righteous is if it's aligned with god so if it's not aligned with god then why you know the law is flawed we have a lot of flawed laws and this is some of the issues and a lot of these flawed laws are on the books and these uh, and these uh crooked officers are able to operate like animals because of the flawed laws these crooked laws right they're crooked they're flawed they're uh insufficient so and they're not beneficial to the people so it doesn't benefit to people they're flawed meaning that they're not perfect um most of these laws don't make sense so a cop can go kill somebody and now he gets immunity well m m we're if you have morale you say, well, that's not right. It's not right that an officer is able to kill somebody and not do time. But it, but that's the law. See what I mean? The law is flawed based on morale, which should come from God. So I think he's trying to find his way. And, you know, I just think it was a bad time to do it. You know, never mess up your money. You know, and I think when you allow a woman, uh, false religions, when you allow all these type of things, They'll lead you astray, and I haven't heard anything about his wife. I don't know if he's still married to her, but when you allow Satan, people, people that's not in your best interest, because I don't know if his wife was in his best interest, because he's getting the money, and uh, at that time, was he at his apex? Probably not, you know. But the NFL lifestyle, the NFL life of a quarterback has expanded because they changed the rules to where you can't even hit the quarterback. But he wasn't playing as good, but he was still good enough to be in the NFL. What I'm saying is all of these distractions, he messed up his money. He messed up his career. Uh, he won't get any endorsements. Nobody want to mess with him. But even with all of that, he still got some ca phone calls. After all that kneeling, after all that backlash from the media, Colin Kaepernick still got some uh, looks. He did. He, he got uh, six offers. This is what they don't talk about. He got six offers from NFL teams, but he wanted the tryouts to be on his term. So Colin Kaepernick was under the influence of his ego. He was under the influence of his arrogance because there's a time and a place. Like I said, he messed up his own career. Just get in line, man. If you really want to be down for the cause, this is what you do. You make your money. Yo, you get your black ass out there and play as good as you can. And your motivation should be all the people, all the black folk that have been killed. What you do is you play your heart out. Get your team to a championship. Do what you got to do, or at least the playoffs. Get your money. Start your fundraiser. Get with some, some people that are smarter than you. Because you have the capital now. Get with some people who care about the things that you care about. Group think. And you guys make it happen outside of the NFL. And that's what makes you special. You're able to focus on your football uh, profession. And on the off season, you're able to do community work. You know what I mean? It, it's just that simple. But he raised a lot of... Because to be honest, a lot of people don't care about black issues. Right? And that's why if I was in this corner, like, look, nigga, nobody cares get your money and do your own thing outside of the nfl just use the nfl for your benefit mm -hmm. get the money and you know start your own fundraiser start your own political campaign do what you gotta do outside of as long as it don't interfere with your money which is you know the nfl you know cool because at the end of the day that's them people's team 
you plan for somebody else you're employed by somebody else start your own businesses buy up a whole bunch of real estate that's more money you know there's ways to do it and the biggest thing uh his arrogance shadowed his reality do you know very very few people are able to even enter or try out for the nfl you made it to the nfl you made it to where hundreds and thousands of kids and youngsters and college players want to be you made it colin you should have maximized your time there maximized your opportunity and you know with the people that were around you they didn't care about you the people hyping you up they uh stroking your ego and it led you to fall in your damn face now with that being said you know um nigga you ain't winning no damn championship i'm gonna be i'm gonna be honest I, like i said i ain't gonna be i wasn't gonna go hard yeah, i'm gonna go hard on them but i'm gonna be fair you ain't winning no championship man you haven't played in what seven years come on colin now colin he colin kaepernick is a. Uh, he seemed like he's in good spirit but he's just a little bit delusional he's holding on to a dream and uh should we hold on to dreams as long y'all should we, at what point do we say give up on your dream and just go work a nine to five and work be a slave the rest of your life i mean what is your option give up on your dream or work for a miserable job for the rest of your life without no pension without no retirement you have to literally work until you die unless you get hundreds of thousand dollars in debt to get a profession that's if your profession is hiring you know so it, it's it's a lot of moves it's uh you know do do we give up on our dreams do we say you know damn what what i'm gonna do go back to school start my own law firm i mean what was the next object i really love this but does the thing that i love love me and it seems like the nfl doesn't love you colin kaepernick i'm just be honest with you brother they don't want your black ass out there again after that shit you pulled last time you and your wife and you thinking you up there with Tom Brady? Uh, you 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 acted a fool out there. I'm gonna be honest, Kaepernick. You acted a damn fool. I I I think your heart was in the right place, but I think you were just a little bit misguided. Should we give up on our dreams? Y'all flood my comments. Should we give up on our dreams, or should we continue? <clears throat> excuse me. Or should we continue to hold on to that motherfucker until the wheels fall off? Two five zero capital G. I'm gone.